Hey everybody, what's going on? This is my first YouTube video in over 16 months. I haven't made any YouTube videos in almost a year and a half. I've been crazy busy chasing success in, frankly, all the wrong places. I'm totally pivoting my filmmaking career strategy and I wanna share with you all the insights and everything that I've learned over the last year and a bit. So let's get right into it. So I've tried a ton of different stuff over the past year and a half or so. Nothing has really worked out. I've been failing like one thing after another. I reached a point where I realized that I had to try to pivot my filmmaking career strategy. I was on kind of one trajectory and I thought I knew what I was doing and it turns out I totally didn't. I've been trying to get the attention of agents and managers and legacy distributors and uh, film festival screenplay competitions. None of this has yielded any results. I, I really kind of audited my uh, situation. I took a hard look, I took a step back. One of my other passions aside from filmmaking is actually investing and my investment portfolio is really kind of themed or geared towards the idea of disruptive innovation. So companies that are uh, coming into older legacy kind of sectors, legacy industries, and really shaking things up. I've been trying to find a way to kind of unite my love of filmmaking and my love of investing together, trying to kind of relaunch my YouTube channel, try to figure out how to kind of combine these two passions of mine. And then it kind of struck me a little bit, well, what are my films about? What do, what do I make movies about? What kind of stories do I tell? They're about disruptive innovation. They're about humans' relationship with technology. I finally figured out a way to combine these two things. I need to start treating my filmmaking career like an investment. I need to start looking at the decisions that I make from the perspective of an investor and not of a filmmaker. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking a look at my filmmaking career and I'm rebalancing. I'm treating it like my portfolio. I'm taking what is not working for me and I'm discarding it. Every dollar and every minute that you put into your filmmaking career, you should expect to get something out of it, whether it's tangible or whether it's progress forward. The industry is really built around this kind of lottery ticket mentality where it costs independent filmmakers everything and costs the gatekeepers nothing. So as an investor, I'm going to be really taking a cold, hard look at all the decisions that I make. On my YouTube channel moving forward, I'm going to be exploring all sorts of disruptive innovation and technology as it relates to independent filmmaking. I'm going to be discussing everything from distribution to cryptocurrencies to NFTs to companies that are moving into the film space and they're shaking things up. They're taking this like 100 plus year old model of how we've been doing things uh, this whole time and they're re-engineering things. I'm super excited now. I've kind of figured out how to align these two passions. You know, like I have this passion for investing in disruptive innovation. I'm really excited about all these different areas of technology like crypto, like artificial intelligence, electric vehicles, like all this kind of crazy sci-fi stuff that is very quickly becoming our reality right now. All this stuff that like, you know, you would think that just it would only exist in science fiction movies. All that stuff is starting to creep now into reality. I want to be a part of that. And I've been trying to figure out how to like merge my passions for filmmaking and investing together. And I'm super psyched now that the themes of both my investment portfolio and the themes of the films that I make and now the way I'm taking my career are all kind of aligning and they're all converging on each other. And I'm going to kind of spend 2022 exploring that. I'm going to make a lot of YouTube videos about this type of technology, the things that I'm interested in. I'm going to be talking about investing. I'm going to be talking about filmmaking, how they relate to one another. We're going to be talking about alternative ways to distribute your films and all these really powerful ways that filmmakers could kind of own their work in perpetuity. So moving forward, I'm going to be treating my career like an investor. I'm going to be treating my films like an investment portfolio. I'm going to be really thinking hard about before I make a decision, am I going to see a return on my investment? Am I just flushing money down the toilet? Am I just flushing my time down the toilet? I'm going to be talking about all these different things and how I'm now pivoting to approach my entire filmmaking career like an investor, demanding more out of my time and more out of my money and not giving into kind of this lottery ticket mentality where you give your time and your money to someone else and then hope that they maybe give you something but maybe they don't. I really just want to share uh, kind of my new mentality and my approach to independent filmmaking and I'm going to be documenting the whole process and I'm going to be sharing with you my experiences. So if you're into this type of thing, if you're into uh, if you're into innovative technology, if you're into disruption, if you're sick of the old model, if the old model is not working for you as an independent filmmaker, join me on this journey. Please like and subscribe. You know, it just takes a second it costs you nothing and it means everything to me it helps build the channel i'm super excited for the possibilities and all the different opportunities that technology is affording independent filmmakers in 2022 thanks so much for joining me and i'll see you next time <laughs>